than 900 years ago, the renowned Italian traveler and merchant Marco Polo passed through Baoying on his journey to Yangzhou during his travels in China. He recorded his experiences in his travelogues, where he extolled the local prosperity and opulence. Today, Baoying County remains a land of felicity and serenity, where people pursue a beautiful life. Hello everyone, I'm Clara from Russia and I'm the treasure exposure today. As the Chinese saying goes, harmony is the most valuable. We should interact with others kindly and live in harmony with nature. Today, I have come to Baoying County. It's truly a place of harmony and beauty. Why do I say that? Let's introduce Baoying's prized treasure, Lotus Root. For it, Baoying is known as the hometown of Chinese Lotus Root. The lotus flower is one of China's top 10 famous flowers, rising unstained from the muddy water, reposing modestly on the clear pool, an emblem of purity and truth. In Baoying, summer brings a city adorned with lotus flowers, filling the air with their fragrance. The lush leaves, so expansive, stretch across the entire pond. People naturally want to enjoy the flowers. By plucking a bloom, one can brew a cup of nine grades of lotus tea. The delicate lotus petals unfold, and the tea is clear and bright, exuding a gentle fragrance. Mmm, it's good! New white lotus flowers bloom above the water. The small boat with red windows returns with the wind. Moreover, in the depths of the lotus pond, one can boat and enjoy tea, surrounded by the beauty of nature. The rural life here is so enjoyable. It's perfect for a summer retreat. The lotus roots are distinguished for its ornamental lotus flowers and its underground stem, the lotus root, which holds high edibility and medicinal value. The annual output value of planting, processing, and leisure tourism industries has exceeded 4 billion yuan. Baoying has established a national standardized production base for green food raw materials, lotus roots, covering an area of 80 square kilometer. Moreover, Baoying has successfully established the first national modern agricultural industrial park for lotus roots in Yangju. Friends, can you see the lotus root here? It's under the water. Let's gear up and hunt treasure. The lotus leaves are smaller and have fewer spines on the stems. Usually, there are lotus roots beneath them. The roots are buried in the mud. Reach in and pull them out. Be gentle, or they might break. Wow! The first harvest of lotus roots can be eaten directly. They have lots of fibers, and the flesh is white and tender. The workers are really hardworking. It's not easy. As early as the Sui and Tang dynasties, China had the tradition of planting and consuming lotus roots. At the county level in China, Baoying has consistently ranked first in lotus root cultivation area, yield, and export volume for many years. Processed products of Baoying lotus roots are exported to countries and regions, including Japan, South Korea, Southeast Asia, Europe, and America. Lotus root dishes have also become a specialty of Baoying's chefs. They have brought their lotus root cuisine to its full potential, innovating and varying their recipes, resulting in the renowned Full Lotus Root Banquet, now celebrated across China. This is absolutely heaven for food lovers. People here tell me there's so much more to eating lotus roots. 
There's a huge factory here that specializes in making lotus root products. Let's go to see it. Achieving such fresh and tasty products wouldn't be possible without technological support. Lotus root balls, lotus root powder, lotus root cakes, lotus root slices, crispy lotus root chips. The production of lotus root snacks is standardized, making them healthy and delicious. Today, I have truly had a fulfilling experience. Baoying has so many treasures, too many to count. The people of Baoying with their hard work and wisdom have made their hometown's lotus roots famous throughout the country. Friends, welcome to Baoying. Come find your treasures. <laughs>